Okay, this video is on how to uh, download your gradebook uh, off of Brightspace, then download your gradebook off of your third party software, My Open Math, My Math Lab, whatever, and then put those grades, uh, uh, copy and paste your grades from uh, My Open Math over to the Brightspace gradebook and upload them up. I do this if you have a large class that you don't feel like typing in every single student's grade one at a time going through that process that I showed earlier. So the first thing that you need to do is make sure that your assignments are created in, in Brightspace. And really all I'm talking about there is a placeholder type of thing like I showed in the last video where you set up the name, the points and so on. And then you would, uh, if it was a small class, I would you know just uh, manually type in those grades. But uh, here's how you can copy those grades over. So what we need to do is after you set up all your assignments, just go to grades in Brightspace. And now we're going to uh, export the gradebook. And you may say, well, there's nothing to export. Well, it, it gives you the format that the Excel sheet needs to be in so that you don't have to try to mimic it. I, I've tried to do that and it seems to never work. So I just download their gradebook, copy and paste the grades over and re-upload it. So when you click export grades, you'll see some settings. And uh, I just leave the key field to still be um, uh, this, the organization defined ID. But right here, sort by, this is important. You want to sort by uh, last name, last name, first name, um, you know, something with the last name. So the alphabetical order matches uh, on both grade books. So I just do last name, first name, you know, anything you like there of those. And then down here, uh, user details, uh, well, make sure this says points grade and user details, make sure it does show their last name, first name. So you can make sure that the grade is with the right person. Now down here, you're choosing what to export. You don't have to export everything. You can just export the ones that you're wanting to put the grades in. Once you have that, click export to CSV. So this is a file type within Excel and uh, and it works best, and um, that's the one you're supposed to use. So once you click export to CSV, it's going to do that. And then as soon as that gets done, just click download in this area. It downloads it, and then you can click it and open up that uh, Excel file. So that opened, and you can see the students' names are in alphabetical order, which we want, and it gives you the blank spaces you to type in or copy paste in the student's grade. Now, earlier in the previous video, I made up a grade and put it in for this SLO right here for this student. Uh, I can change it right here. And when I upload it, that's gonna change. I could manually type in these scores right here very quickly rather than going through update, update and all that sort of stuff, one student at a time. So even just typing it in is faster. But if you have a lot and you don't wanna type them in, then what uh, you could do is go to your third party software and you know my open math my math lab or whatever you're dealing with could be a science uh, third party software or whatever and then at that point uh you can go to that uh uh program's grade book and usually they're going to have an export area so at that point you could export that and uh again download that as a csv and that will download and then when you open that up, now I don't have any people enrolled in uh, My Open Math yet because I haven't linked the sites, but you would see uh, the names going down here after the averages, you would see the names going down. Uh, and then you would see actually before the uh, average, you see the names. So watch out for averages. You don't really want, you definitely don't want to copy those over. So uh, we would see a list of, of scores going down with uh, each student's name here. That's in alphabetic order, same order. You can't have extra students in one site compared to the other. If you do, then you're going to have to make those adjustments and, and uh, get that straightened out. Maybe copy paste so many and then copy paste more or, or however you're going to do it. But anyway, if we had some students here, I would just go down and select those cells. Again, don't select the averages. Usually they're at the bottom. Uh, so you just select those cells, copy them, and then go back to your Excel sheet that we downloaded from Brightspace. And then right here, I would just do the right mouse click and do the paste special option uh, as, as text 
or pay special one, two, three. I don't know if it really matters, but that way you know that it's, it's just text that's going in there. It's no formulas or anything like that. Uh, I probably just a regular pace would work. Once you get those in there, okay, and you can do that for all your values that you wanna, wanna do, then at that point, um, save the file. So you would be you know, saving the file somewhere and you probably wanna save it not in downloads unless you are happy with it being in downloads. So you can save it wherever you like to. Actually, I just keep it in downloads. And then once you have that saved, then you go back to your, um, your uh, LMS uh, so you're going back to uh, Brightspace, and now in the uh, gradebook area. So let's just go back here to gradebook. Here we're in a separate separate area of the gradebook. So let's just go back to uh, grades. And what you do at this point is you choose import, and then I've tried to make this file look like this, but it's just easier to download the gradebook from both sides, copy and paste the Myopa Math grades over to the uh, Brightspace gradebook like I just did, and we will have the right format there. Then you just browse for it. You would find that gradebook, a file. Now mine, not gonna line up because I didn't have any students in Myopa Math. Double click on that gradebook file, uh, and you know, maybe it might be in downloads or whatever. So, well, there we go. And then you would double click on that, and then uh, you just say continue and it uh, downloads the grades. And then you, I think it, there's a, watch out, there's about two places that you have to click uh, download. Uh, and I think the first time I did this, I didn't do it all the times that it shows up here. So there's a couple of these downloads. Uh, there's definitely is one extra one that you didn't think that you'd have, but you do like it downloads it in and then you have to like download it again to put it in the grade book. And at that point, when you go back to your grades in the gradebook area, you will have all those grades. Now, unfortunately, it doesn't download the linking of the uh, Jello. So once you have those grades in your gradebook, so um, you would still have to uh, put uh, how they did on the Jello. So that doesn't copy. I've, I've looked for that and it does not copy it over. So at that point, the grades would be in there. And under that assignment area, let's check that, let's go to assignments. And then under that assignment, uh, you would see that it was published because we have the, the grade is in there, but the Jello wouldn't have been leaked, linked. So what you'd have to do is like this person here, when I click on it, their grade will show up, but uh, this will not have been done. So it puts the grade in, but I can't find any way that you can actually uh, automatically put these in in an Excel sheet. Uh, so you would still have to do that one at a time. So at least it saves you the process of putting in the student's grade. So really that's all there is to that. And uh, I'll stop the, uh, the uh, video right here.